Hi and welcome to Outdoors with Richard. So today I'm going to be taking a closer look at the Snug Pack Stratosphere Bivy Shelter. Now here in the UK I purchased this bivy for £142.95 but as I always say depending where you live or where you purchase this from prices may vary. Now currently it just comes in the one colour which is this olive green colour. Now when you get it it comes in a really nice compression bag like this. It's a roll top compression bag. It has a couple of nice straps on it there so you can really uh, strap this bivy down and get it stored away nicely. Now when it comes to the size of this uh, compression bag the length comes in at around 31 centimeters which is around 12.2 inches and then the width comes in at around 14 centimeters or 5.51 inches. Now the packed weight, so this is the compression bag, the poles, the pegs, the bivy, etc., comes in at around 1.13 kilos, which is around 2.49 pound. Right, before I get this bivy pitched up, let me open it up and let me show you what you get inside. So inside your compression bag, you're obviously gonna get your bivy. You're also gonna get a pole storage bag, which will house two 8.5 millimeter aluminium poles. Now one of these poles, um, two sections of the pole is color coded green. I don't know if you can see that, um, but that's to help you when it comes to pitching your bivy. If you get your bivy again um, and have a look, there's a little green color coded tag there uh, to show you where that green pole goes. So pitching is made very easy for you. You also get a steak bag, which houses seven uh, lightweight alloy uh, Y-shaped um, ground steaks. Right, let's go outside and let's get this bivy pitched and then we can take a closer look. Right, I've set up the bivy. It took me all of two to three minutes to set up. Don't forget earlier in the video, I did state that one of the poles was color coded. Also the bivy where the poles go is color coded. So you know exactly where the poles should go. So it makes it super easy. And then apart from putting in your ground stakes, you are up and running. So first impressions, the bivy's not a bad looking bivy. Coming down by the front here, you've got a rain fly. If we undo this rain fly and then lift it up you have a little mesh window underneath so that's going to help with airflow and also help reduce condensation if it's not raining obviously you can roll this up and underneath as you can see you can then tie this rain fly up um, moving around to the side of the bivy it is a side entrance bivy which we will have a look at in a minute but uh, let's have a closer look at the outer fabric the outer fabric is made out of a 50 denier 290t ripstop with a 5000 millimeter hydrostatic head waterproof polyurethane coating all the seams on this bivy are taped so it makes this bivy 100 percent waterproof right let's take a closer look at the side entrance. now the side entrance has a three quarter length zip which is covered with a storm flap the storm flap also has some velcro on it to keep it in place and also it is fully taped to keep it 100 percent waterproof right let's open up the side entrance and show you what it's like. Give me all that over there. There you go. This is all open now. Now, when it comes to the entrance, you've got a choice of how you want this entrance. You can obviously get in your bivy and just have it fully uh, zipped all the way round, or you can partially zip up uh, this bivy and at the top here you've got a little mesh window which will encourage airflow and help with condensation 
uh, you do have a separate zip right down the back here so this mesh window can then be zipped to the outer and then you could just have as I say uh, pretty much all of the bivvy zipped up with just this little mesh window exposed now if you still want this little entrance at the top but you don't want this mesh window this mesh window can be rolled up and tied up so once again if the if the bivvy was nearly fully zipped up you would still be left with a little uh, sort of post box style window right let's look at the internal parts of this bivvy now when it comes to the ground sheet of this bivvy this ground sheet is made from a 210t 100% nylon with a 8000 millimeter hydrostatic head polyurethane coating and as mentioned earlier all the seams are taped so it makes it a hundred percent waterproof now not that you can see it but um, right underneath here where the little mesh window is there is a little pocket where you can store some bits and bobs if you want now the internal measurements of this uh, bivvy starting right at the top here the measurement across the top here from the head end you're looking at 70 centimeters coming all the way down to the bottom of this bivvy the foot end measures in at 60 centimeters coming back up to the top of this bivvy the widest point of the bivvy where your shoulders would go that measures in at a hundred centimeters um, the length of the bivvy comes in at 220 centimeters and then with regards to the highest point of the bivvy so from the floor up to the pole that comes in at 48 centimeters now I'm six foot two I have a uh, 46 to 48 inch chest I have a 38 inch waist and size 12 feet and I can get in this bivvy no problem now you're not going to have acres of space but it's definitely big enough for me um, along with my sleep system so if you're smaller than me you're going to have more than enough room even if you're a little bit bigger than me you're going to have some room so there's the bivvy uh, not a bad bivvy but now let's talk about usages pros and cons of this snug pack stratosphere bivvy now when it comes to the usages of this bivvy um, you could use it for some stealth camping a little bit of wild camping or even some general camping however i would use this for maximum one to two nights i certainly wouldn't be using this bivvy for multi days um, I think after one to two nights using this bivvy, you would definitely start craving the size of a tent. Um, now, if you are going to use a bivvy, what I would do is I would take a top with you. I'd put the top right over the top of your bivvy. This is going to give you an extra layer of protection from the elements, but also it gives you um, uh, more space that you can sit underneath your top um, next to your bivvy. Um, and relax before you're ready to go to bed. Uh, what you can't do is pitch your bivvy and then sit in your bivvy all night waiting to go to sleep because it's just um, not enough room to do that. Um, now, when it comes to the pros of this bivvy, um, first of all, uh, the compression uh, bag. I really liked the compression bag. I thought it was really, really well made. Um, I also liked the size of the compression bag. Um, and I also liked uh, the packed weight of the compression bag. Now, when it came to pitching this uh, bivvy, it was really, really easy. Um, also, having that color coding made it very, very simple. Um, and as I said, um, it took me probably two to three minutes to pitch this bivvy. Um, it was also very, very easy to take down and pack away. So uh, no issues with that whatsoever. 
Um, now, when it comes to the entrance, um, I like the side entrance of this bivy. I much prefer a side entrance to a front entrance. Um, I think a front entrance is, is, is a bit difficult to get in and out of. So um, definitely a pro having the uh, side entrance. When it came to the little mesh windows, you had the little mesh window behind you, which had that rain fly, which covered it, which as I said as well in the video, if it's not raining, you can roll that little rain fly up and um, have that mesh window um, exposed more. And you also had that little mesh um, uh, window in front of you. So with those mesh windows, it's gonna help with airflow and help reduce um, the condensation. Now, when it came to the waterproofing, this bivy is 100% waterproof. I had zero issues with the waterproofing. Other people I know um, have had no issues with waterproofing. And also, um, I did go online and look at a lot of reviews, and the waterproofing was simply not an issue. Size-wise, it was a decent size inside this bivy. It was big enough for me. I told you my size um, when I was outside with this bivy and it was big enough for me, as I say. Um, don't get me wrong, um, you're not gonna get acres of room, but it was big enough. Um, if you're smaller than me, you're gonna get more uh, room, um, and even if you're slightly bigger than me, um, you'll have no problems with getting in this bivy, even with your sleep system. Height-wise of the bivy, for me, um, it wasn't too bad. Um, right, um, let's look at some of the cons. Um, First of all, price was I paid £149.95 for this uh, bivy. For me, it's too expensive for this bivy. Um, there are bivvies out there that are cheaper and that will perform as well, if not even better in some circumstances than this bivy. And um, a lot of these cheaper bivvies actually even have um, better features on them. So for me, the price is too expensive. Um, I would like to see the price of this bivy closer to the one, say 15, maybe 120 mark. Um, I've even seen this bivy advertised over here in the UK upwards of 200 pound, which is uh, quite frankly laughable. There's just no way I'd be spending that kind of money on um, this bivy. Now, talking about the side entrance again, um, I, I did like the side entrance, but what I didn't like on this bivy is that you didn't get a second mesh door. On most bivvies now, which seem to be the norm in a lot of cases, you get your main door, your outer door, but then when you roll that back, you get a second full mesh door, which, you know, when, when the weather gets warm and you're getting a bit hot in that bivy, which you ultimately do, um, you can roll that outer door up, you can keep that mesh door down, keeping all those bugs and creepy crawlies out, but at the same time letting in a nice lot of cool air coming into the bivy. The fact is that this bivy, this bivy didn't have a full mesh door. Um, I, 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 I didn't like that. Um, with the size of the bivy, um, the size of the bivy internally where I lay was okay. Um, the part that I didn't like was the height by my head. I think it was, it, it, it was quite low. Now, bivy camping is claustrophobic anyway. So if you are watching this video and you're thinking about getting into bivy camping or interested in buying a bivy, um, if you do suffer with claustrophobia, um, I would give bivvies a miss. Um, in saying that with this bivy, um, I would have liked to send at least an extra five inches on the height of the bivy, just making the experience in the bivy um, just a bit um, better. Um, so yeah, um, the height wise was a bit of an issue for me. Um, now, when it um, came to the bivy itself, um, what I didn't like was, I didn't like that the bivy just lay flat right across your body. Um, you know, when it rained, you quite often get pools of water forming on top of the bivy. And um, I didn't use this bivy in snow, but I have heard people use it in snow and the same thing after a while, they got little piles of snow forming on top of the bivy. And unless you're rolling over, those pools of water or snow just um, sit there. So I didn't like that. I much prefer a bivy where you have a second hooped pole at the end. So rain and, um, and snow can, um, can fall or run off the, um, the bivy. 
Um, the other thing I didn't like about this bivy, um, I got very hot in this bivy very quickly. Um, also, the condensation was ridiculous in this bivy. Now, with all bivies, you are going to get warm quite quickly, and there will always be an element of condensation. That's part of the bivy experience. But I found in this bivy in particular that I got warm very quickly, and the condensation was, was at another level. I don't think the fact is that this bivy just lies directly right on top of your body um, helped with that um, at all. Um, now, um, going back to the packed weight, the packed weight, I think, was 1.13 kilos, which for me was OK. But to be honest, I think they could shave a little bit more weight off that. And I would like to see that closer to the kilo mark, the one kilo mark or slightly um, underneath um, the kilo mark. Um, so all said and done for me personally, would I recommend this bivy? I would have to say no. Um, there are cheaper bivvies, as I say, out there that will perform as well as this bivy, if not better in some circumstances. And uh, you definitely, in a lot of cases, get better features on some of the cheaper bivvies. I don't always think spending more money is going to get you a better deal. But listen, that's just my opinion. I know there's people out there that absolutely love this bivy and, you know, they won't have anything bad to say against it. So, as I said, this is just my opinion. But I'd love to know what um, your thoughts are on this, um, this bivy. But in saying that, if you've enjoyed this video, if you found it useful, please give me a nice thumbs up. It only takes a second to do. Um, if you've already subscribed to the channel, thank you so much for your ongoing support. If you haven't sub sub subscribed, please come on board and um, help uh, my little channel grow. Um, but um, until next time, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you soon.